Hi, my name is Sabrina and I'm an instructional designer. Today, I'd like to talk to you about why accessibility is important to instructional designers. As an instructional designer, you need to remember that your audiences consist of all types of learners, including those with disabilities. So similarly, the learning experiences you create should also be available to different abilities and preferences. Disability can be permanent. It can also be situational. For example, providing captions can help someone in a loud environment. Disability can also be temporary. For example, providing voiceover can benefit someone who might be recovering from eye surgery. So a lot of disability can be invisible and the options you provide can actually benefit wider audiences. Accessibility is more than just meeting compliance standards. It's also about meeting the needs of all learners and creating experiences that are open to all. So as an instructional designer, you also need to be aware of how these interactions you create will be used by people with disabilities and also be aware of the interfaces they use to interact with your training. For example, using a mouse, using a keyboard or using a screen reader. When I design content, I ensure that it is perceivable, operable, understandable, and robust. Does your content have the right color contrast, uh, which meets color contrast guidelines? Are you using color as the only way to convey information? Is your font readable? Uh, sometimes decorative or cursive font can be harder to read. Are you using alternative text? Does alter your alternative text convey the same meaning to the content? And usually I would avoid adding alt text to any kind of decorative images. And for example, when you provide alternative text and if you replaced all the images with the text, would that still make sense to your training? Does your media have captions? It's important to have captions and also in storyline, I think it's important to remember to put your seat bar on and just to make sure that somebody wants to pause or replay, they have the ability to do so. And sometimes you may have to provide transcript for all the multimedia in your training. Are there any links that you provide in the training? And do these links actually describe the destination instead of just saying um, learn more or select here to learn more? Does your content meet the right focus order? And does it make sense when somebody tabs to that content? If you have a video as a part of your training, it should not autoplay because sometimes that can create a conflict with the screen reader. Is your content available to a screen reader? I would also consider learning how to use a screen reader. Uh, I use NVDA, there's also JAWS and these screen readers are free to use. Recap, a learner with auditory disabilities may not be able to hear clearly or at all, and these learners may need text captions for any audio or video that is included in the training. Learners with any visual or mobility impairments may not be able to uh, see the screen or interact with the screen, and they may not need the use of screen readers or a keyboard, so you need to ensure that your content is accessible and there are any alternatives uh, to any mouse-based activities in your training. You may have learners with learning disabilities who may not be able to read or process information on time, so you may want to avoid any time-based activities, for example, quizzes that may, uh, you know, may have some kind of a countdown and require the learner to, to complete them in a specific time. We also spoke about how your training should be accessible to all learners and it's just good practice to ensure that your training is accessible to all users. There are some great resources out there and I would look at the 508 compliance website, the web content accessibility guidelines website, Articulate Storyline, that's a great resource and uh, also look at their forums. I hope this little talk has been an insight into accessibility and why as an instructional designer, you should use accessibility in your trainings and how it also benefits your learners.